Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another video. This is just going to be a little recap video on how Spinnycraft has been going so far. A little bit of an update video here, just a couple days in right now. So what I'm showing on the screen right now is just a few of the stats, because we're going to show the stats right away, and then I'm sure in the future they'll be a lot greater. But this is just to look back on right now. As you can see, all the stats from all the players. Thank you to everyone who's played the server so far. I've definitely been enjoying it, and every day we're going to keep working to improve the server for sure. So, let's get into a few of the announcements that we got for this first week of Spinnycraft. First few days. First of all, shout out to Phaser Phaser, Jeremiah, Liam Lamy, and Royal Henning or live wire as I used to call them as they have officially defeated the ender dragon on the survival world absolutely incredible work good job lads I was there capturing the moment the cinematics on my laptop so it ended up looking pretty good again good work anyways a new announcement we have a slash set home command so how this works is pretty much you can now teleport to your house by setting the location by yourself all you have to do is enter slash set home just like this and then put a name make sure you're standing where you want to be teleported to put slash set home put a name and then you can go on with your day and when you want to be teleported back to your house just simply do slash home and then enter the name that you just put in and it will take you back to that warp location of your house just like this and then we've also made it so players can have multiple homes so you can go ahead and make another set home put another name and then there you go just like that you can teleport to that place and the other place by simply specifying the name of the place after the slash home command just like this so i use slash set home at both the gold emerald and diamond block and then all i have to do is type slash home and then put in whichever block i want to tp to and that's how it works you can have multiple places in your house you can tp to and if you want to see the list of houses you have type in slash house list and it will show your homes another feature we have added is the ability to slash warp to the uh, market now so all you have to do is type in slash warp m and it will take you to the market you can also type in slash warp market and it will take you here from the survival world so you don't have to do slash spawn and then run into the portal anymore you can just go straight to the market nice and easy speaking of the marketplace we now have brand new items in the market we are now selling enchantments for your weapons on the uh on the market, all you have to do is simply hold the weapon you want to enchant and then click on the sign and you will buy the enchantment for that weapon. And then we also have potions coming soon on this wall. So every day we're adding stuff to the market. Make sure you keep checking back. And we're also selling rockets now also at the at the market. So we've actually gone on and introduced another big thing here. This is the ability to upgrade skills and abilities just by simply playing the game. So what you want to do is type in slash skills just like this. And this will give you this prompt and it will show you your levels for all the skills that you can do. Basically, just by playing the game, by farming, by mining stuff, you will level up your tools and they'll get abilities on them. Basically, you can upgrade every single skill, and it's got this really nice interface that shows you what the upgrades are, what the abilities are that you're getting, and it's just really nice. Go check it out, slash skills, to get this prompt and go get those things upgraded. And then in-game here, you can see a little bit about what it looks like when you're upgrading stuff. You can see my defense on the top right there. Right there, I got some fighting levels experience right there, and it's just really cool how it levels everything up, and it shows you what's going on. Just an overall really nice feature to add to the server, for sure, I believe. And then for our final change here, in the mob arena, the knight class actually got a nerf down to a diamond armor instead of netherite armor. It was a little too strong, and also the tank class also lost the shield because the shield was literally infinite health and it was kind of broken so it now has more health but it no longer has the shield so just a little bit of information on the latest mob arena updates but anyways i want to thank you all so much for watching this video hopefully you all enjoy these updates and hopefully they just help to make the server a little bit better because that is overall the goal thanks to everyone who's playing definitely enjoying it if you guys want to know how to join the server check the description join the discord all that trying to make the server better day by day and uh, have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next one peace out